from shopping carts to delays underwater. Well, he's just sitting over there. He ain't doing nothing. Tensions run high. My gosh, I understand that. Plan your dive, and you dive your plan. Anyone crossing the Brazos River into downtown Waco got an eyeful of construction. The suspension bridge renovation has reached a major milestone, and the mid-river supports need to be removed. They're essentially crutches that have been holding the bridge up since work has started on it in the fall of 2020. American underwater divers, in cooperation with a massive crane, are needed for the removal. The 80-ton crane that mobilized to the site was very tall, very large, but definitely very necessary to assist in lugging these large steel casings out of the river. American Underwater does anything that you can think of underwater. Uh, if it has to do with construction, dredging, any 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 project you could possibly think of, if it's underwater, we do it. So. My name is Zach Maxwell. I'm a commercial dive supervisor. I've been doing this for a little over seven and a half years. I'm doing construction jobs. The uh, the monotony of sucking mud all day long, every day, gets very old. So anytime we get to come out and do anything like this, it's kind of refreshing and a restart for for all of us. So. H-beams that were used as supports were just tossed into the water when they were removed. American Underwater Services used airbags to bring them to the surface. It was only 15 feet of water, so they had a kind of a wild ride to the top. That was, uh, it was, it was like a wild rodeo ride. <laughs> it's always the same thing, the same thing with any dive. You plan your dive and you dive your plan. That's the main key to staying safe when it comes to diving. Uh, the challenge today is going to be uh, alignment. I mean, pretty much we know where we've got to set up, we've got to be on bottom. The problem is that we've got to have those rollers positioned in line with their rollers positioned up top. So as long as we get those positionings right, you're going to have a good, sm smooth, clean cut. If we get misalignment, you know, we're a little bit off and that wire is going to be traveling sideways instead of vertical where it's going to make a good easy cut. The more angle, the more resistant. So this is real exciting as a diver. Um, obviously, we work in zero visibility about 99% of the time. Um, this is fun, it has a little bit more thought to it, uh, a little bit more dangerous, so it keeps you on your toes a lot more. Uh, everything's a lot bigger and heavier out here, so you really gotta, you gotta think a lot about what you're doing. This is a uh, diamond wire saw uh, that we will be hooking up to the mud line, and then up here, of course, they're just, uh, they're just cutting them off with a torch. Is that crane gonna be able to reach those two in the middle? Yes. Really? That's why they set up here. That's the maximum distance and the maximum lift that they can actually have. Okay. The Davis crane can reach all the way out to the middle of the bridge on the opposite side to extract these massive and heavy columns. Zach and Alex will be diving on the site today. There are always unforeseen obstacles that get in the diver's way. In this case, it was a shopping cart. One of the many below the bridge. I got the shopping cart. Oh, you're at the shopping cart? Oh, there it is. Crew runs into a lot of obstacles in aquatic life. Some situations are more dangerous than others. I have not had a bad one like Mr. Sam behind you had. Um, 
but just uh and you'll be feeling around you know underwater and you'll think it's a rock and then all of a sudden it'll bite you you know and you kind of <laughs> lunge back but mr sam he actually he was dredging and uh, he came across a big old uh big old alligator snapping turtle and it uh, it latched down on his hand thank god it didn't break his fingers so i was dredging i went to go grab something and i thought it was a rock so i went to go grab some more and i reached under its shell and then our other buddy tanner he was like, no, it's not a turtle, you're good. So I reached in again, and the head just came up and got my middle finger. I was like, no, it's a turtle. Well, he didn't believe me, so I reached in again. I don't know why. And then it got me again, kind of in the web of my hand. So I pulled it out. They gave me a little fish in it, scooped it up. We pulled it out the water and just relocated it in another canal. So it wouldn't get me again. I guess all the cats, all the ducks and stuff go missing because the turtles will come up and scoop them on under. Uh, right now? Uh, right now we're standing by and we're waiting for them to rig up the top package of their diamond wire saw and then we will be going down and uh, getting our position set. Uh, they will then low down uh, the, uh, the bottom mounts where we will secure them right above mud line and then they're going to lower down the uh, actual diamond wire which we will feed through their little device and uh, run back up to them and then make them their cut. While the topside crew is getting the diamond cutting cable ready, the divers talk about their equipment find of hydraulic supports that fell off from the project the other day. They were more than 100 pounds, so Alex fastened them to the lift bags and allowed the crane to pull out the missing hydraulic supports. So we were doing the second set of pilings out there, pulling up that H-beam, and uh, I was going to establish a downline from the boat to the H-beam. And lo and behold, as I'm dropping down, I landed right on it. And I kind of was feeling around and I felt that the parts were still super easy to move. So I could tell that it was a fresh drop. And uh, I tried to pick it up the first time and it was so heavy. Sounds like it was a pretty expensive, uh, drop in the water that nobody knew about. There's still one more down there. Oh, and we're going to find it today. Hey, Zach, he's asking you to pull tight on your end. Are you snug? Uh, actually, he hasn't even started tightening yet. I need to tell him to pull it tight. He's telling you to pull it tight through the, uh, through the ratchet there, Alex. The first time a procedure is set up, it normally takes the longest to get it working. And as the divers work blindly underwater, sometimes frustration will set in. All I needed was tension. That's it. You got it? No, I just need tension. Oh, he said he needs a little tension there, uh, uh, Zach. He's supposed to pull the tension. He has the ratchet. Yeah, if you have the ratchet, just pull the slack through it. My gosh, I understand that. You just gave me a rat nest down here. Yeah, you just gotta try to uh, fold it up, to get all your uh, excess folded up, so that way it's more manageable. Zach, are you feeling the same frustrational sentiment? Uh, that's a negative. I mean, no, he's just sitting fun. over there. He ain't doing doing nothing. It's the same as anything. Once you get the first setup, you got it down, the next one will be smoother. It's just uh, getting your uh, procedure down is all. It's just a ratchet strap, man. What's the problem? With the diamond cable set right, they cut and remove the pipes. Uh, it was pretty frustrating. I was trying to get the... Uh... When they sent down the ratchet strap, it was just a big tangle mess, but we figured it out. Frustrating, but we got it. Uh, pretty much, I would always point my body towards the piling, so I could always move right, move left, 
and I knew uh, Zach was always on my right side. So if I needed to reach something around, I could come around and hand it to him and just really have to pay attention to which way your partner is so you don't get lost and try to stay near your only point of reference. According to the structural engineers, the bridge shouldn't have to go through another major rehab for at least 50 to 75 years, and probably longer. With all six pipes cut and removed, a job well done for the city of Waco. And thanks to American Underwater Services. Pond Dredging Commercial Diver and Dredging Services. American Underwater Services provides specialists to clients' engineering, construction, and maintenance teams, all while utilizing premium equipment that includes dredging machines, cutting edge diving equipment, and industrial standard high powered underwater construction equipment. That combination of unique expertise and state of the art resources means we consistently finish projects ahead of schedule and under budget. Some people still don't grasp what we do. You know, they just can't come. Our 26 years of experience as American Underwater Services is the premier and longest standing diving dredging company for virtually any commercial underwater job. We offer innovative, cost-effective solutions to your commercial diving, pond cleaning, and dredging needs. We build enduring relationships with our clientele by going above and beyond in all we put our hands to. Consult with us today. American Underwater Services. Aquatic Engineering. Done right.